Hey, what's up everybody? It's Renika here with another verse of the week. And today we're gonna to be looking at the book of Luke chapter number five. But before I read the scripture, I just wanted to give you a little bit of background. So here we're looking at Luke and there is a man who is paralyzed. And because he's paralyzed, he has um, men who are carrying him around on a mat just so that he can get to Jesus to be healed. But because everyone's trying to do the same thing, the crowd is so big, there's too many people to get in through the door, they decided to lower him down through the roof. And when Jesus sees this, he says, young man, your faith is so great your sins are forgiven. And the Pharisees, they hear this and they're confused and they're like, this man is not God. How can he forgive sins? So let's read at 22 and see what it says. Jesus knew what they were thinking. So he asked them, why do you question this in your hearts? Is it easier to say your sins are forgiven or stand up and walk? And as I read this a few weeks ago, the first thing that popped in my mind is, ask God for a hard thing. So I think when we pray and we ask God to do things for us, we sometimes already have it mapped out in our minds exactly how God can answer our prayer. I know I do the same thing. If I'm asking for a financial blessing, I'm, I'm saying to myself, okay, well, maybe I'll get an increase on my job or maybe this will happen or that'll happen. Sometimes we work our prayers out in our mind of how God is going to accomplish them. But this week, I want you to try to do something really hard to think about what God can do for you that if you were to really be honest with yourself, is probably not possible. So that's what I mean when I say ask God for a hard thing. So I want you to do that this week. Think about the paralyzed man. Think about how desperate he was for Jesus to answer his prayer that he did something that nobody else was thinking of. And along those same, same lines, I actually have a prayer journal here that I wrote a few years ago called My God Answers Prayer. And you simply can go write your prayer request down and then record how God answers that prayer. Not only does it kind of cultivate a heart of gratitude, but it shows you that you asked God for a hard thing and that he actually did it. So I pray that you all are blessed on this week and we'll see you next time.